Hello, my name is Daniel. Today I'm going to be walking you through OS Police app Package Disabler. So Package Disabler is a premium application designed to improve your mobile experience. As you all know, phones tend to have a bit of a half-life, which means they get really slowed down and their battery life gets incredibly low um, as their kind of life goes on. Um, they tend to be overloaded with junk and we call this junk bloatware. So bloatware tends to be useless software um, or services installed by the manufacturer. Um, they use up a lot of battery and they slow your phone down more than you'd ever believe. So Package Disabler is designed to solve this problem, but the really unique thing here is you don't have to root your device, uh, which is a key aspect you know, with this application. So anyway, let's get started. So if I open up Package Disabler Pro, what we're greeted with is a huge menu of all the services in the uh, currently you know, on your phone. Uh, they display in an alphanumerical fashion, and if you use the search bar at the top, you can search for any package that you want. So if I want to search for Facebook, for example, as you can see, the Facebook app pops up and some of the other hidden services also. If you click the menu on the top right, you're greeted with a long list of a few services. One of them, I'll, sh I'll give you a quick walkthrough of the more important ones. The one at the top right here, disable all bloatware, is a very important one. So what this does is it deletes all the bloatware currently known on your device. So in one click, you can you know, delete almost over 100 pieces of bloatware that's slowing your device down. In my case, I've already done it. One of the other important ones is to set a password um, for parents out there who want to restrict it from their kids, um, or even for bosses who want to uh, restrict uh, the applications accessible by employees. Um, what you can do is if you set password, it means that you can only access these settings with that password. Um, but do remember that if you, uh, if you do forget your password, you will not be able to uninstall this app. So um, do provide a proper recovery email so that we can uh, rescue your device if worst comes to worst. One of the other important ones down here is manual disabler. So what this does is it's for specific package names. Um, so the list in the front page are most of the ones you're ever going to need to use but in the odd case that it isn't displayed in that list and you need to delete a specific one uh, you want to get the package name and enter here and hit disable. The rest of the list is quite straightforward um, there are more settings on what you want what needs to be displayed on the front page um, export and import from, M from XML the second and third options here um, they're designed to share uh, configurations between users. So for example, I had a good setup that gave me a lot more battery life or uh, improved my device a lot. I could say to my buddy, hey, look, uh, take my settings. I know they work for a fact, for, you know, they definitely work. Um, enable or disabled, show installed. The rest is a bit straightforward. Um, so one of the questions a lot of people ask is who's actually going to use Package Disabler and like I mentioned before it spans uh, between a multitude of different uh, sections of people. Um, businesses have used it to restrict employees, parents have used it to restrict kids and I use it just to improve my, uh, my uh, device's performance pretty much. Um, one thing to mention is that at OS Police we do support 95% of the Samsung devices so there are a few that aren't supported but most of the mainstream ones are. In fact, all of them are. Um, so that's all from me today. Um, I hope you have a better understanding of how the software works. Um, and if you have any more questions, feel free to uh, leave a message um, via the App Store or via you know a comment below, uh, whichever's best. Uh, thanks a lot. Bye.